Zealand. Pick up the count on your mark, please. I copy. Three, two, one. In my assignments and counting, DLS auto sequence has been initiated. And from now till launch over a thousand different parameters on the space shuttle will be checked. Houston flight entity on 212. NTD Houston flight 212. Okay, I uh, need to update the uh, lock stream back performance hold time when you get it, please. Okay, sir. We'll have it momentarily. NTD Houston Flight 212. Houston Flight, go ahead. New drain back hold time, two minutes, colon, two, three seconds. I copy, two minutes, 23 seconds, lock drain back hold time. That's a good copy, NTD. Thank you. DLT, OTC, connect essential buses to fuel cells. That is in work. Standing by to Standing retract to the crew access arm. Connected to the field cell. Copy, TLT. Yellow says go for orbiter access arm retract. Orbiter access arm can be put back into position around the crew uh, orbiter access hatch in just 28 seconds if that should be necessary. Next event will be the pre-start of the auxiliary power units. Coming up in 15 seconds. JRPS, start APU recorders. JRPS, I can verify recorders are running. Copy. DLT, perform APU pre start. APU pre start is in work. T-minus six minutes and counting. Watch OTC it. from DLT, APU pre-start is complete. We have a barbell talk back on number one, and two and three are gray. That's expected. Copy, Mark. APU will, will start in 45 seconds. And at that point, we'll terminate the replenishment of liquid oxygen, start the drain back. Let's go for orbiter APU start. DLT, OTC, start APU. That is in work. And if there's a problem with this MDM card, the uh, computer will stop the count at four minutes. T 
T-minus four minutes and counting. CLT-12? Yeah, okay. uh, we didn't get the reconfigure heaters yet. Sorry, I missed that. The air surface uh, profile test oh, now underway. Uh, video, heaters. Uh, now the three main engines of Atlantis being gimbaled. Going through their steering sequence. To verify full controllability. T minus three minutes and count. TLS is go for ET LO2 pressurization. And we'll prepare now to retract the gaseous oxygen vent arm, the Gox Spina cap. DLT, clear caution, warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. That's in work. Top off of the fuel cells is being terminated. OTC, PLT, caution, warning memory is clear. There were no unexpected messages. Copy, PLT. All flight crew members, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Visors and O2 flow. Yeah, let's just go for ET LH2 pressurization. One minute, 30 seconds. Now arming the sound suppression water system. T minus one minute. Turning off the solid rocket booster joint heaters. Yes, our new flight data recorder is being activated. Standing by to hand off from the ground launch sequencer to Atlantis's onboard computers at T minus 31. And the handoff has occurred, and Landis's computer is now controlling. 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Firing chain arm. Sound suppression water system now activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, the command is to start. 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis with Destin. Seconds into the flight, Atlantis is already downrange from the launch site at two and a half miles at an altitude now of five miles. 
planets. Go ahead, throttle them. Go ahead, throttle them. Atlantis is three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle, approaching one minute, ten seconds into the flight. All systems uh, in good shape. Uh, the hydraulic systems, auxiliary power units in excellent shape, as are the electricity-producing fuel cells aboard the vehicle. Atlantis already traveling 1,500 miles per hour. Downrange from the launch site, 10 miles at an altitude of 13 miles. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. At this point, Atlantis has already burned more than two million pounds of fuel and weighs half of what it did at launch. All very quiet, uh, all going very smoothly aboard the orbiter. Approaching one minute, 50 seconds. The next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters, which consume about 10 tons of propellant every second. SRB separation confirmed two minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Atlantis traveling 3,000 miles per hour at an altitude of 31 miles downrange from the launch site, 40 miles. Beautiful view of Atlantis on its external tank now and main engines, each uh, producing 400 pounds of thrust. 